world, and, and it has reverberated through the Iranian economy. There are obviously other additional important aspects to our sanctions against Iran, but the financial sanctions, uh, which you know, prevented Iran essentially from being able to trade freely with the world, uh, has had a, a very significant impact. When you talk about ratcheting up the pressure, do you believe, are you watching on a sort of daily basis? In other words, should we expect that there might be additional sanctions, not in the next several months, but in the next several weeks? Yeah, look, we can apply sanctions at the time and place of our choosing and the fashion of our choosing. So I think everyone ought to expect that we will continue to watch the situation carefully and we'll choose our steps uh, in response to what's happening there. And I think it's an important point. What we're trying to achieve here is to change the calculus of the Russian government. We're trying to create an incentive for the Russian government to recognize that what they need to do is to de-escalate the situation in Ukraine, to take a different path. And we are going to continue to work on creating those conditions in the Russian economy and in the people close to, uh, to President Putin to try and uh, encourage them to